the Chairman Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa says the appropriations for its agency's budget for 2023 is grossly inadequate, particularly for capital projects, insisting that the anti graft agency cannot fight the war against corruption with an abysmal low budget. He made this known while defending his 2022 budget expenditure and presenting his 2023 proposal for a total of 41.2 billion naira for capital, overhead, and personal costs to the House of Representatives Committee on EFCC. That is it. Uh, we are building a brand new EFCC Academy and we need funding for that. Uh, last year, 3 billion was allocated and uh, this year, nothing you know, uh, was allocated for it and that is where we are pleading to members that we need to have this new EFCC Academy because of course we have to learn, we uh, as uh, fighters of crime we have to be ahead of these criminals and the only way you can do that is by training and retraining and retraining and retraining again. It can never end. Yes. So sure the National Assembly will get to you. Of course, uh, we have a very uh, purposeful uh, Ninth National Assembly that we have a very good uh, working relationship you know, with them. I believe that uh, they are going to heed to our request. Also, the chairman EFCC in reaction to questions from journalists after the budget defense session with lawmakers say his agency has appealed an Abuja High Court judgment at the Federal Capital Territory FCT in Metama, which convicted him for contempt of court in relation to his agency's failure to comply with an earlier order of the court. He said his commission will ensure that the law takes its full course. We have uh, appealed against it already, uh, so we will allow the natural course of the law to take its uh, effect. The presiding judge, Justice Jizoba Oji, in a ruling held that the chairman of the EFCC, Rashad Bawa, be committed to Kujie Correctional Center while directing the Inspector General of Police to ensure the committal order is executed. In a related development, the Minister of Police Affairs, Mohamed Dengiadi, has disclosed that the proposed 871 billion naira in the 2023 budget estimate is inadequate for the Federal Ministry of Police Affairs and its agencies towards ensuring adequate security of lives and property across the country. The minister made the observation during the joint budget defense held by the Senate and the House of Representatives Committee on Police, co-chaired by Senator Haliru Jika and Honorable Bello Kumo. The summary of the 2023 appropriation uh, as uh, Table 3, uh, the main ministry has total budget of 3 billion 553 million 59,805 naira. Uh, the formations and commands, that is for Nigerian Police Force, they are having 805 billion 580 million 450,000 659 naira. Police Academy will deal. They have 5 billion, 177 million, 414 naira, 630 naira, uh, sorry, 613 naira. Nigerian Police Trust Fund has 57 billion, uh, 14 million, 287,532. Naira. The committee, however, resolved to an executive session to discuss extensively on sensitive matters of security. Annie T. Patrick, Core, TV News, Abuja.